Hey guys, I'm Sarah, I'm a nutritionist and I'm here to review the meal provider, My Muscle Chef. So these guys call themselves a functional meal provider and are really in that space of fitness performance and body transformation. You may have seen these guys online or otherwise connected to the gym franchise F45 because they use these as their provider on the challenges. So My Muscle Chef have a wide range of um, meals and also collections and you can also choose from um, three different plans. So a calorie control plan, a muscle gain plan and also a performance plan. Now keep in mind that these plans, while helpful in sorting through some of the meals and trying to find ones that fit your goals, they aren't overly individualized. So they only require your gender and also how many times on average do you train a week. Realistically, to get some individual um, meals that are going to fit to your individual goals, you really need some more information like your body metrics, your weight, your height, your age. Um, also the duration and type of the activity is also really helpful. So while it is effective from a marketing point of view, I'm not sure how effective it is uh, when it comes to realizing your goals. So just keep that in mind. As I said, they do have some collections, so you might find a low carb collection in there. Um, they also have a keto collection. Just bear in mind that these collections are helping, as I said, to organize the meals, not necessarily going to help you reach your dietary goals. Uh, so for example, the keto collection does have some low car uh, carb meals in there, but really you can only have one of those meals and a snack and you would be above your recommendation of getting less than 20 grams to switch into ketosis. So it is something to consider if you're using these as your main fuel source. Now when I look at um, meal providers like this to determine whether I would like to eat them myself or would recommend them to a client. There's a few things I look at. First of all, I bypass everything here and look at the ingredients list. So when I first looked at the ingredients list, I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is so refined um, and there's so many numbers in here. But when I actually looked a little bit further, it's actually really helpful what My Muscle Chef have done and they have included the percentage of each of their ingredients. So we know automatically the, the ingredient that is at the front uh, is the most featured the most in the meal and the ingredient at the end is in the least. Um, but They've actually gone that one step further of saying, well, this has 51% of vegetables, this has 8% um, of tomato, um, maybe 40% of fish. So this is really, really helpful. The other helpful thing that they've done on their labels is that they've made bold those high allergenic foods. So things like gluten, sesame, fish, eggs, milk, um, which is great for those who do have dietary restrictions. One thing that they do feature in some of their meals, not all, but they do have some flavor enhancers, sweetness, colors and refined oils, which is a little bit of shame because I would have loved them to um, stick predominantly with that whole food um, ingredients list. They do have more vegetables than some of the providers out there. So some have over 50% of vegetables, which is excellent. And they are very focused on their um, protein intake. So you can see there is an emphasis of um, quality protein sources in there with some over 50% of protein. Um, this is helpful for anyone's goal, whether it's to lose weight, gain muscle, or to maintain. Two negatives with the My Muscle Chef meals is that they're incredibly low in fiber. So just on average, four point grams of fiber per serve. It's really not enough if these are your main meals through the day and it will take you quite a bit to get um, your to your recommended fiber intake, which is about 28 grams for women and 40 grams for men. Um, 
The other negative, which is a bit of a shame, is the high sodium intake. So in one of these meals that I tried, it had 1,240 milligrams of sodium. Now put, to put that in perspective, we have a recommendation of no more than 2,000 milligrams of sodium a day. So that's over half your sodium intake in one of these meals. Not every meal is like that, but they are overall much higher than most meal providers. This helps to add flavor. So salt, soy sauce, those sorts of foods, uh, ingredients are going to add flavor into these meals. But um, it is at a cost. We don't want to have such a high intake. Our body only needs about one to two grams at a max per day. Uh, so that's a little bit disappointing. Aside from their main meals, My Muscle Chef also have some snacks. So they have some things like this um, high protein cookie um, and also, which I've just opened up here, this uh, low carb vegan bar. Um, so one of the things that I hate about these <laughs> is that they're so ultra processed. So it is much worse in terms of ingredients than the meals. The meals are much more whole food based than these. Um, with lots of additives, there's sweeteners, flavors, there's different starches, vegetable oils, all sorts of things in here. It's quite a lengthy list. Um, and I just get a bit disappointed about this because there are heaps of options out there that are whole food based options that don't have anything artificial or processed in there. Um, that would be much better for you. But I thought I would open this one up and give it a taste so that we can actually see what they taste like. The cookie, by the way, tasted delicious, even though it was filled with a whole lot of crap. Um, so this cookie dough bar certainly has the cookie dough texture. It's really sweet. It's got crunch in there, I think from the cashews and maybe even cacao nibs, but it does have that artificial protein sweetener flavor. It's actually not that pleasant. So I must say that um, I prefer the meals when it comes to ingredients than I do the snacks. So maybe something to keep in mind. Now, when it comes to taste and flavor, here's what, firstly, what a meal looks like. Now, this is one of the more substantial size meals. This is the Moroccan fish with a kale and potato salad. So you can see here, um, the fish portion is really decent. So I try and get a hand size portion or palm size portion of protein for women and two for men. So this is a pretty decent portion. Um, there's lots of good textures. You know, it's not all mush. These are quite firm. Even the, the fish itself is really firm rather than mushy. Um, and I can smell the flavors. Now, now keep in mind that a lot of that flavor comes from the sodium in there. So, uh, so really, actually, the, um, my Muscle Chef meals had a really nice flavor. The, the texture is pretty good. A lot of the vegetables still had a, a cr crunch, which was nice. But then it was a bit hit and miss. The parma, for example, the crumb was really soft. There was no ha ha ham. So much to the disappointment of my husband, it didn't really taste like uh, um, parma. So um, a little bit varied on that in that regard. To sum it up, I guess one thing that I do like is that there is lots of variety. There's a good amount of protein in there and they are trying to avoid some of those refined carbohydrates. The ingredients though, you just need to take a closer look. You can definitely get some that are whole food options. If you click the link, you'll go to an article on mealprep.com.au which has a little bit more detail as to what my thoughts are with the My Muscle Chef meals. Now, if you've tried this provider, we'd love to hear what you think. So head over to mealprep.com.au and leave your own review so others can see whether this is the meal provider for them.